Thank you. We're looking at a bipartisan bill that will be introduced in the Senate today aimed at implementing new ethics standards on the Supreme Court, though it still would police itself. In recent years, public trust in the court has fallen, according to Gallup. And this move, of course, comes on the heels of the Clarence Thomas ethics questions. News Nation's Evan Lambert joining us live from the Supreme Court now. And Evan, some Americans may be surprised to know the high court is the only government branch that operates without a code of conduct. Natasha, so there is a code of conduct for other, all other federal judges, and the Supreme Court says that it follows that in principle, but this bipartisan effort, it's really a response to bombshell reporting from ProPublica about Justice Clarence Thomas and his failure to disclose some financial transactions uh, that are connected to a conservative billionaire donor, Harlan Crow, including the sale of a home. Also, some new reporting about Justice Neil Gorsuch and a financial transaction that he made, a property he sold to a top executive connected to a law firm that has business and has had business before the court. This bill was introduced by Senators Lisa Murkowski, a Republican of Alaska, and Angus King, a Maine independent who caucuses with Democrats. It would require the Supreme Court to create and enforce a code of ethics within a year of its passing. Now, all other federal judges, as I mentioned, are subject to an ethics code, but the Supreme Court is in charge of itself. These major reports on Thomas's failures to report trips and financial transactions, like the sale of a home he owned to that billionaire Harlan Crow, have prompted criticism from Democrats. And next week, the Senate Judiciary Committee is holding a hearing on this issue. They invited Chief Justice John Roberts to testify before the committee. Roberts, in a letter just yesterday, declined in this letter to Chairman Dick Durbin. Roberts saying, quote, I must respectfully decline your invitation. Quote, testimony before the Senate Judiciary Committee by the Chief Justice of the United States is exceedingly rare and, as one might expect, in light of separation of powers concerns and the importance of preserving judicial independence. Now, this is all coming, Natasha, as you hinted at, that uh, support by the public in the Supreme Court, as that support has faded, according to public polling. There was a Gallup poll taken just before the Dobbs decision uh, that led to the fall of Roe versus Wade. And that report, uh, that poll indicated that only 25 percent of Americans had confidence in the Supreme Court. That was down from 36 percent in 2021. So this bill uh, that is will be introduced essentially may put more pressure on Chief Justice John Roberts to do more when it comes to the Supreme Court and how they are supposed to follow any kind of ethics code. Natasha? Okay. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.